Hey there, students. Now, in this clip, we're going to be going over uh, two examples on arithmetic sequences. So let's go ahead and write down um, the instructions for question number one. So uh, for number one, we're going to do the following. So for the given sequence, for the given sequence, sequence is just basically a list of numbers that are separated by commas. So for the given sequence, we're going to do the following. A, we are going to uh, classify, classify it as arithmetic or geometric, as arithmetic or geometric. You have two types of sequences we have. Uh, and after doing that, we're going to describe the growth rate. Describe the growth the growth rate. And then um, after describing the growth rate, we're going to find the next find the next four terms. Next four terms of the sequence after finding the next four terms we're going to find then find um, an explicit formula explicit formula for the uh, for the nth, nth term explicit formula for the n term okay and then when we do that we we'll yeah, then use our explicit formula to find uh, the 50th term. Okay, we'll find the 50th term. All right, so all these instructions we're going to um, apply to the sequence uh, 5, comma, 10, comma, 15, comma, da, da, da. All right, so this is what it is to, this is what the sequence um, a sequence looks like. Okay, it's just a list of numbers separated by commas and then uh, it, it could go on forever for an infinite sequence so it could be finite. So in this case we have an infinite sequence since we have this dot. This dot means that the pattern continues for eternity. All right? Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with the A part. Part A, we have to classify it as arithmetic or geometric. So just remember arithmetic involves addition or subtraction Geometric involves multiplication or division, okay? So that's the difference. Um, if you keep adding, it's arithmetic. If you keep multiplying, it's geometric. Uh, so adding the opposite is subtraction and multiplying the reciprocal is division there. So we can just stick with addition or multiplication to separate this. So if we look at this sequence of numbers, what's happening? Are we multiplying every time or are we adding? If we were multiplying, let me just do some scratch work on the side. 5, 10, 15. If we are multiplying, the rule has to continue, continually hold for the entire sequence. So if we are multiplying, 5 times what will give us will give us 10. 5 times 2, right? If I multiply 10 by 2, the next term in the sequence has to be 20. But this term is 15. So clearly it is not a geometric or multiplicative. Uh, series. It's not a geometric sequence, okay? So let's try addition, though. If I add 5 to 5, I get, so if I do plus 5, I get 10. If I add another 5 following that common difference, do I get 15? Absolutely. So we see that since the growth rate, since I keep adding every time, it's going to be an arithmetic uh, sequence. So this is an arithmetic arithmetic um, arithmetic sequence okay basically the reason is since the growth is additive okay since the growth is additive if it were multiplicative then it would be a geometric sequence okay all right so for the B part let's describe the growth rate what do we what do we um, do every time to find the growth rate, since we're adding every time, there's something called a common difference, all right? So what are we adding every time? We're adding five. So to find the growth rate, you're gonna, it's normally called, it's called a common difference. The common, um, 
do that again. The common difference is expressed with the letter D. So the common difference, common difference, D is what you get when you subtract um, a term from the, pre from the previous term. So basically, um, A2 minus A1 can help us find the common difference of what you add every time. So A2 minus A1 is going to be 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. So that goes the common difference. So what does this mean? It means that uh, we add 5 every time. So positive 5 means add, we add um, 5 every time. Okay, so that's a description of the growth rate. Now next, let's find the next four terms. The next four terms of um, our geometric sequence. So we have 5, 10, 15. So we need to find the next four. 1, 2, 3, 4. Since the pattern is to add 5 every time, all we just need to do is just keep on adding 5. If I add 5 to 15, I'll get 20. If I add 5 to 20, I get 25. If I add 5 to 25, I get 30. And if I add 5 to um, 30, I get 35. So the pattern just requires us to keep adding, uh, keep adding 5 in order to generate the next term of the geometric of the arithmetic uh, um, sequence. Okay. All right. So there goes the next four terms: one, two, three, four. Now part. D, we are required to find an explicit formula for the nth term. Okay, so the formula for the nth term of an of a of an arithmetic um, sequence is given by by the formula a n equals a one plus n minus one d. Okay, so there goes the formula. All right, so in order for us to, when we write an explicit formula, we're going to have two variables, okay? So um, let's go ahead and do this. So um, the first term, the first term, A1 is 5. The number of terms n, since we're looking for the nth term, n is simply going to be n. Um, the common difference D is what you add every time or subtract. In this case, D is is uh, 5, since we keep adding 5 all the time. All right, so to find out, find out the explicit formula for the nth term, well, we also know that An is equal to An also. We don't know that. So the explicit formula, we're going to substitute these four um, uh, values into our formula. So a n is going to be equal to a1, which is 5, plus n, which is still n, minus 1 times the common difference, which is 5. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify this. We're going to have a n equals 5 plus, we just distribute uh, this 5 into these two terms in the parentheses. So it's going to be plus 5 n minus 5. And then if we combine like terms 5 and negative 5, they add up to 0. So our nth term, a n, is going to simply be 5 n. All right? So that is the explicit formula for um, this uh, arith arithmetic sequence that we're looking at. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, do the last part, which is to find the 50th term of our uh, arithmetic sequence. So for E, to find the 50th term, 50th term is just another way of saying a sub 50. Okay, the subscript is going to be 50. If, a sub, if, if you have a sub 50, that tells us of important information about n. All right, so um, this is the formula we're going to be using. We're going to be using, we can use the um, explicit formula or we can use the original formula I showed you. Since we already have an explicit formula, we might as well use it. So a in um, a sub 50 is simply going to be 5 times, in this case, n. n is 50, 5 times 50. Because the index is 50, that's why we know that n is 50, all right? So 5 times 50 is 
250. So that is the 50th term of our uh, of our um, arithmetic sequence. Okay, so there you have it. All right, now let's move on to question number two. So for question two, um, we are to find find d uh, for the sequence for which a1 is equal to 100 and a sub 12 is equal to 34. Okay, so we need to find D. D is also known as the common difference. Okay, so the formula that relates that connects all these terms in the there's only one formula for the nth term of the of an arithmetic sequence. So that formula is a n equals a one plus n minus one d. In order for us to use this formula to solve for d, we must have only one unknown in this formula, namely d, or else we can't solve it. Okay. So in this problem. Um, a sub 1 is equal to 100. A sub n is equal to A sub 12, and that's equal to 34. If A sub n is equal to A sub 12, what does that tell us about n? If we equate indices here, we're going to see that n is in fact 12. Okay? All right, how about D? Um, D is what we're looking for. We don't know what D is, okay? So we have one, two, three, four variables and one unknown. So four variables, only one of them is unknown, okay? All right, um, so that's excellent. Now we can go ahead and solve it. So all of those we plug in, all we know into the formula and represent what we do not need with the appropriate letter. So A N is 34. 34 equals A1, which is 100, plus N, which is 12 minus 1 times d. Okay, so you have 34 equals 100 plus 12 minus 1 is 11, 11d. Subtract um, subtract 100 from, from both sides. Subtract 100 from both sides. And then we have uh, 11d equals negative 66 and then divide both sides by 11 and then our final answer d is equal to negative 6 because that is a common difference so what does this mean it just basically means that our arithmetic sequence decreases by 6 um, every time okay so there there you have it So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Now feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And you can like, click like if you like this clip and uh, post a comment to let me know what you think. More clips can be found on mypostrap.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.